story of this morning. Indian External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar will be meeting the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Tokyo shortly. The two leaders are in the Japanese capital for the Quad meet. This will be the first face-to-face -face meeting between J. Shankar and Pompeo amid the India-China tensions as well as the coronavirus pandemic. The talks come as Washington and New Delhi prepare for the third 2 plus 2 dialogue which is expected to be held later this month. Earlier, Pompeo said that the Quad nations will be making some significant announcements at this summit. Thanks for joining us on the trip. It's going to be a, a, a wonderful trip. It's important. It's something we've been working on for a long time to put together to, uh, to meet with our quad partners. It's a project we've been preparing for. We're hoping to have some uh, significant announcements, significant achievements. The foreign ministers of all court countries, that is India, Japan, the US and Australia, will also be meeting in Tokyo later today. In a press release, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs said that the ministers will discuss the post-COVID-19 world order and the need for a coordinated response to various challenges emerging from the pandemic. Now, for more insights into this big meet, Weon's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, is live with us for more. Now, Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. This will, of course, be the first face-to-face -face meeting between S.J. Shankar and Mike Pompeo amid the India-China tensions and the coronavirus outbreak. So tell us, what can we expect as far as the agenda is concerned? Well, Priyanka, it's a hectic day in Tokyo today, whether it's the Quad meeting or whether it is the meeting between the Indian External Affairs Minister and uh, the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. That meeting happens in approximately 30 minutes from now, and that, of course, is the first face-to-face -face meeting amidst the tensions with China. We know that whatever happens in Tokyo today will have ramifications beyond Tokyo, in Delhi, in Canberra, in Washington, and, of course, in Beijing, given the fact that all four Quad countries are right now engaged in some some sort of tiff uh, uh, or something that is not very positive uh, when it comes to China. But talking about India, it is the border uh, dispute, uh, it is the border issue with India that is uh, the biggest story, of course, here in uh, Delhi. But uh, by and large, the, the agenda will be on how to deal with a very aggressive China, given the right. fact that the Chinese uh, have been indulging in a very provocative behavior. And also, we have seen that this is uh, uh, the Quad meeting which uh, China does not uh, perceive in a very positive manner. It, sees, uh, it believes that Quad is anti-China while Quad has been talking about uh, free and open Indo-Pacific. So largely it will be China, a free and open Indo-Pacific and everything that comes in between. That means technology, 5G, uh, also when, when we know, when we can talk about the Right. Supply chain initiative. Remember, Australia, Japan, and India are part of the supply chain initiative. Something that the Indian side has been discussing with many countries, including recently with Denmark at the virtual summit of the Indian Prime Minister and mm -hmm. his uh, uh, counterpart from Denmark. Right. Now, just delving a little bit further into what you just mentioned, a big issue of concern to all parties involved is, of course, China and its aggression on the LAC as well as in the South China Sea, which is of concern to, of course, both India and the US. So tell us a little bit more about that. Well, when it comes to China, this uh, country, of course, has been dominating the news for all negative reasons, whether it's the COVID crisis or whether it is being aggressive, whether it's with India, whether it's with Taiwan, whether it's with Hong Kong. And we have seen how Washington and New Delhi are almost on the same page when it comes to many things, including when it comes to Indo-Pacific. In fact, uh, after the Galwan incident, it was uh, with the United States that India had its first uh, PASIX exercise with USS right. Nimitz uh, uh, present in the Bay of Bengal. That, of course, is a strong message to Beijing. But uh, uh, this meeting coming ahead of the 2 plus 2 dialogue, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is expected to take place in Delhi later this uh, month. In fact, the U.S. Secretary of State was expected to visit Mongolia as part of his Asia visit. Uh, uh, he is already in Japan, but he curtailed it. It now looks like that he will uh, come back to Asia later this month. Uh, uh, as part of a second uh, leg of Asia visit, uh, visiting New Delhi and perhaps Mongolia. But by and large, we have seen how there have been growing convergences between Washington, uh, New Delhi, and of course, Tokyo and Canberra amidst an aggressive China, a China that has been creating trouble in 
several fronts, whether it's border, mm -hmm. whether it's trade, whether it's technology. In fact, India had taken a strong action after the Galwan incident, banning several Chinese right. app, and it looked like that that was a source of inf inspiration for many countries, including mm -hmm. United States, which also banned many Chinese apps. Right. All right, Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. We'll, of course, come back to you for more as this high-level quad meet gets underway. Thank you for joining us.